is you recall nothing else from this morning. Remember that our God can move mountains. Our God is a mountain mover. So whatever mountain is in your way this morning, God can move that mountain. Our God is awesome. Speak to your mountain in the name of Jesus. Our God can move mountains. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for being able to move every mountain in our life. Let us pray. Lord, Heavenly Father, we are thankful. Heavenly Heavenly Father, we are thankful for what you have done for us today. We are thankful that you have woken us up all this whole week for our families, for our happy Thanksgivings. Bless us through all the sicks and shut-ins. Bless them. Let them rise up once more again to praise you every single day, Lord. Let's hope that 2022 is a great year for all of us, that we all be happy once more as we were for 2021. It's all blessed through all the hopes, and let us all shine bright as the Hope Candle does today. Amen. It's all right to praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, Jesus, blessed Savior. Praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, Jesus, blessed Savior, he is worthy, be to That's why we came this morning. 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 We came to praise God this morning. We praise Him. He is worthy of all our praise. That's why we got out of bed this morning to praise the Lord. He is worthy of all our praise. That's why we got out of bed and drove from our homes to this very place. We came to praise him this morning. It's all right to praise him. 
If you want a breakthrough, I dare you to praise him this morning. If you want to feel better right now, I dare you to praise him this morning. He is worthy of all our praise. Praise him. Praise him. Thank you, Lord. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise ye. Praise ye. Praise ye the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Twenty-one, chapter twenty-five. I mean, all right, all right. to thirty-six. Um, okay, I'll be reading for you, Luke, chapter twenty-one, verses twenty-five to thirty-six. Um, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the sea of di distress, distress of nations, nations with perplex perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's heart failing them for fear and for, and for looking after those the, I mean, those things which are coming on the earth for the, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. All right. well. And then shall they see the Son of Man Amen. coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift your heads, for the redemption draweth night. And he spake to them in a probable, parable. parable. Sorry. Behold the fig tree and all, and all the trees. When they now shoot forth, ye see and know of your own sleeves, I believe. Slaves, thank you. That summer is now nigh at hand. So likewise, ye. When ye see these things come to pass, know ye that the kingdom of God is nigh at hand. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass away till all, is, till all be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. And take your heeds to yourselves, lest at any time your heart be overcharged with suffering and drunkenness and cares of this life, so that they come upon you unawares. For as a snail shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. All right, amen. amen. That'll be it. <laughs>
Lord, we want to be where you are. Got to be where you are. Let us give our youth another hand clap of praise. We thank God for them. It's good to see them behind me this morning, giving God the honor, praise, and glory that he alone deserves. The prayer, the scripture reading, the Advent reading, we just thank God for the youth that he has placed in our midst to watch over and to train up according to his word. What a beautiful day. What a beautiful day. Amen. Amen walked into the church and we saw the decorations looked wonderful thank God for the trustees and YPD is doing that for us today the advent candle is lit and we have an opportunity to just praise God who has blessed us more than we deserve let us pray father God I am not worthy to stand before thy people but God, you have brought me out of darkness into your marvelous light. And God, I just ask in the name of Christ, you would bind me, Lord. And let your light shine brightly from within me. But God, you get the glory. Father God, in this season of Advent, a season of hope, we got to be where you are, God. We want to be where you are. So God, I ask in Christ's name, your son, thy spirit will rest mightily upon us this morning. The mountains will be moved in the name of Jesus. The joy will return in the name of Jesus. That peace will come in the name of Jesus. That praise will fill this house in the name of Jesus. That healing would take place in this house in the name of Jesus. We praise you this morning. We worship you. We magnify your name because you are worthy of all our praise. Have your way, God, this morning. We don't want to have church. We want to praise you this morning. We're tired of church. We want Jesus this morning. Have your way, God, this morning. Have your way, God. Your name be praised. In the name of Jesus, we pray and give thanks. Amen. Hallelujah. God's name be praised from everlasting to everlasting. Because he is God. And besides him, there is none other. And so if you have your word this morning, turn to 1 John chapter 3, verse 2 and 3. 1 John chapter 3, verse 2 and 3. And it reads, beloved, can I just say this? This one word is important to us this morning before I even get to the sermon. It said, Beloved, now. Yeah. Yeah. Can I just stop there for a moment? You don't have to wait till tomorrow. Now. You don't have to look at, back at yesterday. Now, right now, we are, we are children of God. Now. That's important. Now. And it, has yet, and it has not yet been revealed what we shall be. But we know that when he is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Verse 3. And everyone who has this hope in him purifies himself just as he is pure. Amen. For your focus this morning. Let us look at verse number two again. 
Verse 2b reads, And it has not yet been revealed what we shall be. For a topic this morning, this ain't all. (laughs) Hallelujah. It has not appeared what we shall be. This ain't all. This ain't all. Thank you, Lord. If this was all, Lord have mercy. But thank God this morning that this ain't all. There is more to come. Hallelujah. This ain't all. Thank you, Lord. Better days are coming. This ain't all. Thank you, Lord, this morning. Hallelujah. The theme of the first Sunday of Advent is hope. But there's a difference between a child of God's hope and a child of the devil. Amen. Amen. Our hope is defined as something guaranteed, but not yet realized. This ain't it. Our hope is defined as something guaranteed, but not yet realized. There are some guarantees God has made us. One of those guarantees is what? We are going to spend eternity with him. This ain't it. A guarantee is we are going to spend eternity with God. He said, God has guaranteed us that if we believe in his son Jesus, we should not perish, but have what? Everlasting life. This life ain't it. There is more to come. Our hope reminds us that better days are coming. This ain't it. So whatever you're dealing with this morning, hope tells you, don't worry, better days are coming. This ain't it. God has some things for us that we have yet to comprehend. Hallelujah. If all I had to look forward to was waking up, going in the medicine cabinet, and taking my medicine to stop some of the aches and pains that I deal with or to simply help me to get through the day. There will be no need for me to come to church. But because I know that better days are coming, that's why I come to church because I know this ain't it. If all I had to look forward to was Dr. Fossey's warnings about coronavirus. There would be no need for me to pray. But because I know this ain't it, or this ain't all, I know this ain't all because I know that I continue to pray and I stand on the promises of God. See, if I ever thought this was all, there would be no need for me to pray. But because I know this ain't all, I continue to cry to my God to strengthen me in times of trouble. Thank you, Lord. Tell somebody, this ain't all. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I can go home now. Because I know this ain't all. There is more to come. Better days are coming. That is why, that is why, that is why we celebrate Advent. It is a time of expectation. A time when we reflect upon the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and anticipate his coming. Hallelujah. 
The scripture read, it says, the Son of Man shall come in the clouds of glory. That's what I'm waiting on. I want to see him for myself. Hallelujah. And so, if you're in the sanctuary this morning, or you're watching via social media, you need to know this ain't all. This ain't all. And someone said, this ain't all because our hope is built. I'm not sure what their hope is built on. But our hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I do not trust the what the sweetest frame. But I wholly lean on Jesus' name. Why? Because I know this ain't all. Thank you, Lord, this morning for letting me know to keep hope alive because this ain't all. The apostle John, the writer of our text, had seen Jesus with his own eyes. He had heard him with his own ears. And touched him with his own hand. There was no doubt in John's mind. That Jesus was and is the source of eternal life. And as a child of God this morning. There should be no doubt in our mind. That Jesus is the source of eternal life. We can't doubt that. Because if Jesus is not the source, who is? Because Jesus, if Jesus didn't get up, how are we going to get up? But because Jesus is the source of eternal life, because Jesus got up, we too are going to what? Get up. And so John wants us to know and the audience to know this morning that this ain't all. So he wrote this book. So I was joy would be full. I get joy when I think about wait a minute. I get joy when I think about what he's done for me. I don't know what he's done for you, but I know what he's done for me. And I get joy when I think about what he's done for me. Hallelujah. Because what he's done for me, because what he can do for me, because he can move mountains, I know this ain't all. So when you feel like giving up, when you feel weak and you feel you can't go on, just tell yourself, this ain't all. Better days are coming, this ain't all. God has guaranteed me that he would never leave me, nor forsake me I'm going to hold on to God I'm going to trust in him John records in this book the words we know 13 times his goal is to give the assurance that God sent Jesus to save us from our sins there is hope in Jesus there is peace in Jesus there is healing in Jesus there is joy in Jesus this ain't all first point this morning we are God's children the text didn't say we're going to be it says now How, hallelujah now we are the children of God. Yes. Remember, Jesus told his disciples, he said, when you pray, mm-hmm. not if you pray, mm-hmm. but when mm-hmm. you pray, well, say, Abba, Father. Yeah. Don't miss that. Mm-hmm. See, Abba expresses both intimacy and obedient heart to God. See, we have a close relationship 
with God. Of all the names in the world, God knows your name. When you cry, when you on your knees crying out to God, he knows your voice. Off they say a mother can walk into a nursery, hear a hundred baby trying to say, that's my baby. She knows that it's her baby cry out of all the cries. She knows which baby belongs to her. Why? Because she has carried that child for nine months and there is a relationship. She has birthed that child. And we've been born again. God has birthed us spiritually and he knows our voice in the midst of all the voices in the world. Why? Because we are God's children. Don't forget that. The same God who divided the Red Sea is your God. The same God that caused light to shine is your God. The same God that walked on the water is your God. The same God that raises the dead is your God. You don't know who your daddy is this morning, do you? When you know who your daddy is, you are calling on him. God is your father. The same God that told, told the storm, peace, be still. That's your father. Hallelujah. The same God that walked out to the grave and said, Lazarus, come forth. That is your father. God is your father. You can come boldly, boldly before the throne of grace. Without hesitation, just run in. Say, Daddy, I'm home. Daddy, I need you. I need you this morning. Hold me, Daddy. Hallelujah. You've seen the president sometime. He's standing around talking to all these dignitaries, and the little kids went and just grabbed his leg. So they're not concerned about all the other things. They just want to hold their daddy's leg. So don't be distracted by church. Just grab on to your daddy's leg this morning and don't let go until he bless you. Hallelujah. The psalmist says, as a father shows compassion or mercy to his children, so the Lord shows compassion to those who fear him. We serve a God who is compassionate, who shows mercy to his children. So whatever you're dealing with this morning, if the devil's trying to hold you down, tell him, devil, this ain't all. Yes, I'm going to run to my father. He's going to restore me. This ain't all. And something else we're mindful of this morning is that if we are children of God, we also join heirs with Christ. Amen. Which means we have an inheritance that's out of this world. My mother didn't leave me anything. My father, whoever he may be, didn't leave me anything. But my heavenly father, hallelujah, hallelujah, my heavenly father, he has an inheritance waiting on me. And guess what? When you receive an inheritance, you don't have to pay for it. You don't have to work for an inheritance. It's left, what? It's left for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But the thing about this inheritance is we can't even mess it up. You know how some folks receive an inheritance? And folks, they, they, they just mess up their mom and their, their, their mama left them all that stuff. And they just messed it up. But we can't mess up our inheritance. It never fades nor perishes. God has it reserved in heaven for us. Why? Because we are his children. Hallelujah. This ain't all. Keep your eyes on Jesus. He has something waiting for you that eyes have not seen, 
nor ear heard, nor it has entered into the, to the heart of man or woman the things that God has prepared for him that those that love him are called according to his purpose. You can't even imagine what God has waiting for you. So don't sit there trying to guess. <laughs> Have mercy on us, Lord. Well, we can't wait till you give us what you have waiting for us. But there's more this morning. Text also says that we shall be like him. Imagine that for a moment. We are going to be like him. Verse 2 reads, And it has not yet been revealed what we shall be. This ain't it. This ain't all. Or this ain't it, I should say. This, either one you want to classify, but this ain't all here. This body we have ain't all. But we know, listen to this, that when he, Jesus, is revealed, we shall be like him. In the words of Grady, good googly goo. We shall be like him. For we shall see him. Wait a minute. That's a promise. Don't miss that. We shall see him. A dead person can't see. We shall see him. With our own eyes, we shall see Jesus how as he is. Hallelujah. We are going to be like Jesus. Sister Poole, you can pass through walls. I want you in heaven's kitchen now. Just trying to get through the walls and float on around there. But we know that Jesus walked through the walls in the midst of his disciples because he had a what? Glorified body. We know that Jesus break bread with his disciples on the bank so he was able to eat. I'm not sure how, how it goes but I don't, it doesn't matter to me this morning. All that matter is what? I will be like him. This ain't all. But most of all, all, most of all, he, he, he rose from the dead above all of the troubles of this world. Yeah. When the men were with Jesus, when he was heading out mm -hmm. to heaven, mm -hmm. and he rose before them, mm -hmm. and they kept staring up into heaven. And the angel said, people of New Mount Moriah, why stand ye gazing up in the heaven. He says, this same Jesus. <laughs> Not another Jesus, but this same Jesus is coming back. How? There's in like manner. Just the way he went up, he's going to come down. I only know that we are going to be like him. Once again, don't sit there trying to guess, just Keep thank God that you're going to be like Jesus. Now I don't know how that would be as far as our appearance, but this is what I do know. I know we would not be sick anymore. In heaven there is no more sickness. I know we would not suffer anymore. Because in heaven there is no more suffering. Hallelujah. I know we will not have any pain anymore because in heaven there is no more pain. I know that in heaven we will not die because in heaven it says there is no more death. I don't know what we're going to be like physically. But I do know spiritually no more pain, no more suffering, no more death. No more doctor's appointments. This is this ain't all. This ain't all. You can leave all your prescriptions down here. This ain't all. There's more to come. Better days. Better days are coming. 
Are you glad this morning this ain't all? Are you glad this ain't all? Are you glad this morning this ain't all? And better days, better days are coming. I don't have to worry no more. Hallelujah. No more pain and suffering. No more doctor's appointments. No more worrying about the kids down the block shooting. This, there's something greater than we were dealing with now. Just one more, one more, one more. Last point. Get ready, get ready, get ready. If you know this ain't all, get ready, get ready, get ready. Hallelujah. The text first three says, is saying to us this morning, if we're going to be like Jesus, if we're going to be like Jesus when he gets back, we might as well start preparing right now. Amen. Hallelujah. We might as well start preparing right now. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Yeah. Whenever you get ready, the first thing you do is pack your bags. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory. Are your bags ready? Have you packed your bag this morning? A bag of faith and trust. A bag of expectation. A bag of hope. A bag of praise and glory. Thank you, God, this morning. You want us to get ready? Get ready. Get ready. Lord, how do I get ready? I love others as I love myself. That's how I get ready. I pray for those that despitefully use me. That's how I get ready. I bless those that curse me. That's how I get ready. I come to church on Sunday morning, on the first Sunday in Advent, and tell God I thank you that this ain't all. Get ready. Get ready, get ready, start practicing this morning for God to take you home to his place over in glory. And so I look forward to, I look beyond, I should say, my medication. But I look forward to putting on a body that disease has no effect on. Amen. We know this ain't all. You heed Dr. Fark Farsi's warning, but you look forward to going to a place where there are no flight restrictions. Don't miss that one. You see, they have put flight restrictions on Southern Africa or South Africa. But see, if you're going to heaven, if Jesus already purchased your ticket, if you have faith in Jesus, there are no flight restrictions to those who have faith in Jesus the Christ. This ain't all. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, this morning. I look forward to the day when we're going to see the Son of God coming in the clouds of glory. Lord, we want to be, we want to be where you are. Lord, we got to be where you are. And we thank you this morning that this ain't all. Powerful word this morning. This ain't all. It's not all. And are you ready? Do you have your bags ready? You have to have, you have to have your bags. It could be a carry-on or it could be a personal item. But you have to pack your bags. But there are some people who don't have their bags ready. All right. They have not taken the first step to get ready to go to be with God. And all you have to do, it is so simple, you don't have to go to the store to buy it. You don't need a dollar, you don't need a dime, nor a penny. You don't have to have cryptocurrency. All you have to do is confess with your mouth and believe in your heart 
that Jesus died for your sin. And then you got that bag of hope. You have that bag of faith. You have a bag that is full of assurances. Why don't you join us as we travel and get ready to go to be with the Lord? Because there are even benefits for right now, even before you get to heaven, there is peace. There is joy. There is grace. Amazing grace. So who wouldn't want to join us on this journey today? Pray with me because there is someone who needs to make up in their mind that they're going to be with Jesus. Be a part of the family of God. Amen. Let's pray. Oh, gracious God, we thank you right now for the word that has gone forth. This ain't it. And we praise you, oh God. But for those who are not ready, those who are, are nervous, we can give them calm assurance today. All they have to do, Lord, is pray with us. God, we thank you for the birth of Jesus. We thank you for the crucifixion of Jesus who died so that we may live eternally with you. God, I thank you that all they have to do is say, Lord, forgive me of my sins. And I believe that Jesus died for me. Lord, I pray that someone will believe the word of God, trust the word of God, so that they may have salvation today. And for those who have salvation, oh God, I pray for their strength today. Strength to make it. Strength to help in their unbelief. Lord, I thank you right now in the name of Jesus. Because we're on this journey together. We are the children of the Most High God. And we give you thanks for the assurance. We don't have to pay for travel insurance because this is free and guaranteed. Lord, we thank you for salvation today. We thank you for hope. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your grace. And it is in the mighty name of Jesus who died for us, we pray. Amen. All you have to do is trust him. Oh, only trust him. Only trust him. Only trust him. Just now. Just now. Only trust him. Oh. this morning because we believe and trust that salvation has come to someone today. Thank you, Lord. Mm, powerful word. Now, Pastor will come and give us another word for us for our announcement and offering. God bless you. At this time, Sister Tonya Mobley would come with announcement for the YP Deers that would follow her. Praise God. Uh, I want to thank Pastor and all of you for letting me make these announcements today. Um, you all know that it's that time of year where Christmas cards will be given. We are asking for your support again to help us with our Christmas card fundraiser. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> um, for only $10, we will deliver as many Christmas cards as you want to our church family. So please, please, please come and support, especially in this time right now where some of us are still isolated. Getting a Christmas card from family means so much.
So please come, uh, please help us with our fundraiser. It's $10 for as many Christmas cards as you want us to deliver. Amen. 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 Thank you. My second announcement is we are also doing a mission project. Uh, the homeless is in need of socks and t-shirts. Uh, we are asking that you help us help others. As God has blessed you, let us bless others. By giving socks and t-shirts, socks is the number one thing needed in homeless shelters right now. T-shirts are number three on the list. So we are asking if you can to please donate a pair of socks of many different sizes. There are many different kids and adults in shelters right now. So we're asking many different sizes, shirts and t-shirts. If you have it to give, to please give um, us socks and t-shirts. Um, if you need to know where to collect them or if you need us to come out and pick them up, we will do that. Um, you can contact myself um, or Jasmine, who was also helping me with the YPD this year. We want to thank her for giving her time and support to help us make the YPD as amazing as it always been. All right. Thank you. God bless. If you do this to the least of these, you've done it unto me. Amen. Amen. When we serve those who have not, we serve the Lord. Amen. Amen. A prayer list we want to lift up this morning, Sister China Bell Dennis, Dr. Laura Rose, and Sister McLean. Uh, Sister Dennis is back home. She was hospitalized briefly. Dr. Rose is hospitalized currently in Baptist. And Sister McLean had a sister to pass. So please join me, if you will, in a brief prayer. Lord, we thank you. We praise you, Lord God. We magnify your name. And now we ask in the name of Christ, your son, thy hands of comfort, thy hands of healing, thy hands of strength. We rest upon Sister Dennis, Dr. Rose, and Sister McLean. Lord God, you are God that heals us of all of our diseases. By your stripes, God, we are healed. You are God that heals the brokenhearted. Let them know this morning, God, that this ain't all. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We now have up on the screen various ways to give, uh, mail to the church, give a five, or your class leaders. Let me thank everyone for their support throughout the last conference here. You have been more than a blessing to us here at New Mount Moriah. Uh, church conference will be, will be held on December 6th at 6 o'clock. Please, both and auxiliaries, please continue to organize. Uh, trustees, the intent forms can be filed on the secretary's door. Please fill those out and, if you will, I'll return them to my wife so she may uh, have those for me to present during our church conference. And there is a few things listed there that should be done prior to our church conference. So thank you again for your support. This is our new leadership team, uh, Reverend Hartsfield. Hansberry. Hansberry. Uh, I mess it two up every time. <laughs> Reverend Presiding <laughs> Elder Hansberry and his wife, who has done, who was, uh, who has, Swanee he was where? Swanee North. Oh, who was previously Swanee North District Presiding Elder. He is now with us. We thank God for him and his wife. And I ask you to continue to pray for them mm -hmm. that God would order their steps by his word. Amen? Amen. All right, the prayer line, we have that weekly with Reverend Burke. It has been and is a blessing to all of us. Continue to pray for her as she lifts us up before the Lord. And don't forget the weekly Bible studies on uh, Tuesdays as well. We're studying uh, from the book of Titus currently. Amen. All right, I'm trying to, the bishop has a prayer line that he does every morning. Uh, 7.30, if you will, please join him. All the information is there. Uh, lay organization has a general conference. It's all listed December 9th, 2021 at 7. Uh, we're asking that uh, Brother Weston probably can buy us more information on that, but the flyer is there, the lay conference. Let me again thank everyone for joining us this morning for our worship service, those virtually and those here in the sanctuary. It is wonderful to see your voices, see your faces once again. I'm losing my voice, but I thank God for each of, each of you. I think, take it not for granted that you're here. Uh, there are a host of services you can go to right at home. 
Amen. Amen. So we're thankful for you. Let's give our youth a round of applause once again. As well as the musicians, great job. Reverend Burke, thank you for your support. Praise God for whom all blessings flow. Praise him, praise him, praise him. <clears throat> praise him, praise him. This Ain't all. Grace, peace, and mercy from God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Rest within the bond of us henceforth and forevermore. And the people of God said, Amen. 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 Amen.